Let's revisit our top story tonight and it's a focus once again on corruption, a new twist in the NYS saga. New details now suggesting that Jubilee Senator Kipchumba Morkoman's law firm received up to 15 million shillings from a company under investigation over the scandal. The bank records now held by Parliament's Public Accounts Committee indicate that the money was paid in two tranches of 8 million and 7 million shillings. But as KTN's Rita Tinina now reports, the committee is sharply divided on whether to summon the senator over the payments. The revelations are bound to put the senator on the defense yet again, following a dramatic last few weeks. It is now emerging that Murkomen's law firm, Singoi Murkomen and Sigay Advocates, may have received a lot more than earlier thought. Bank records submitted to the Public Accounts Committee suggest that the law firm received a total of 15 million shillings from Out of the Box Solutions Limited, a company associated with former radio host Angela Angwenyi, and which was awarded a 302 million shilling tender by the NYS for publicity. According to the documents, the payment to Murkomen's law firm, Singoi Murkomen and Sigay Advocates, was done in two transactions. One on the 19th of August last year for 8 million shillings, which was made through Cooperative Bank. On the following day, the 20th of August, another payment of 7 million shillings was made, this time through Family Bank. The network is intricate. The manner in which every witness who has come before this committee has been at pains to try and link me to their actions is telling. When she appeared before the Public Accounts Committee in September this year, Angwenyi told the committee that she had been paid only 30% of the agreed amount, equivalent to just over 90 million shillings. But it is perhaps the status of the account that raised eyebrows. For two and a half months from the 31st of May 2015, the account had a negative balance of just over 2,000 shillings. But the account came alive on the 17th of August 2015 when the State Department for Planning paid in some 86 million shillings. On the same day, 2 million shillings was withdrawn and several transactions amounting to over 17 million shillings were made in two days before the 19th of August payment of 8 million shillings to Murkomen's law firm, Singoi Murkomen and Sigay Advocates. The Elgeyo Marakwet senator was not available to comment on the latest turn of events, but last Friday he insisted that he was a clean man. Now I am itching, my fingers are itching for Parliamentary Accounts Committee to call me, to, for me to write my statement, because I am ready to appear before men on earth and, may, and God in heaven to answer for every question. Members of the Public Accounts Committee are still split on whether or not to summon Murkomen and Farouk Kibet and nay to Deputy President William Ruto over the alleged links to the NYS saga that seems to get uglier by the day. Rita Tinina, KTN News. All right, so let's just